Hey guys, this is Bilal and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited. I got my first order of corals shipped today. I'm very excited to open up and show you the corals. Um, but before I do, I want to show you the frag rag that I ordered off of Amazon, which I'll be using to acclimate my corals before I place them on my live rock. Because I really don't know where I want to place them. So it'll give me some time to think about the placement and it'll give them time to acclimate to my lights and the water chemistry of my 60 gallon reef. Okay, let's go ahead and, and get to opening it. Also guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you click that bell button to get notifications for my future videos. If you have not seen my previous videos, make sure you go ahead and check them out and like them as well. Please help me out, support my channel. That way it will help me make more videos. So the frag rack that I got online is a magnetic frag rack by Reefing Art, reefingart.com. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, let me go ahead. They have some colorful ones too, but they're kind of pricey. I don't really think I needed the colored ones. And this one had more reviews and it's been around a lot longer, so. So this is a, <clears throat> this is actually, so this is a magnetic, um, it has magnetic support. So it's not suction cups. I actually prefer that with the suction cups. Uh, let's see. Some instructions. Oh. So just to prevent any scratches and stuff, they have these on here. Let me see. I can remove this. Use the magnets. Ooh, it's pretty strong. Yeah. But there you go. <clears throat> Took off all the sticky residue, the other cover that was to prevent it from getting any scratches on the way to the destination. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this in my tank. And our corals. <clears throat> are from no other than rolled white corals. I have got corals from them in the past and they do really do a good job on quarantining their corals. Um, they have their own farm for corals. So do I, and then uh, with their corals in the past, I've never dipped them but I might do it this time, we'll see. <clears throat> so the mistake that I made, well, I guess it is a mistake. I actually, I actually thought I ordered nine corals, but I ended up ordering two of the same one. I don't know how that happened, but it is what it is. But I could have ordered actually <laughs> another one from the same class of uh, coral, but you know, not complaining. So the coral that I ordered from Worldwide Coral is the Montipora cap, Spearmint Montipora cap, exactly. And then I also have a banana, Castel Banana Table Acropora. I have a Snow Dragon Favite, or Favites, Favites, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I uh, ordered two zoanthids. One is the candy stripe zoanthid and the blue hornet zoanthids. I also ordered a pineapple pen mill acropora, a Mr. Freeze acropora, and a Jason Fox flame acropora. I also ordered a goniopora, my Thai micro goniopora. To give you an acclimation sheet, so you have to acclimate your corals. 
which is very nice. They show you, give you pictures, and then they give you a little diaphragm right here, diagram right here to tell you where do the acro SPS, LPS, softies, where do they usually go? And they also show you the is a placement chart and lighting chart as well too. So high light is on this side, low light is on this side, and then it shows you on in your tank where you should most likely put your different types of corals. Okay, finally opened it. Got these temperature bags, just to keep the temperature in the box. Um, maybe room temperature, I didn't think to keep it about 75 to 78 degrees to make sure uh, it doesn't get too cold or too hot. I really don't know what degree they have this at, but it is warm, so it just prevents us from being too cold. And maybe, depending on where it's being sent to, they might uh, change it, but here it comes to California, so. The nice thing about white coral is that they seal their bags very well, so they are always really good at making sure they don't move around too much during their uh, travel to their destination. So they're I'm a des I'm the travel to the destination they're going to. Okay, now I went ahead and I added the coral into this. Their water and my work on my uh, aquarium water, and I give about five to ten minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the tank, and then I will let you know. I will sh I will come back to you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys. Here are the corals under my lights. Right now I'm running 100% blue, uh, the blue spectrum, blue spectrum. There's no white light. So I have my two Monty Pro caps. I have to the right, one of my Acroporas. Right there, the reddish, pinkish one with like uh, flower pot looking is the Ganapora. I have three Acroporas right here. I have my Favites. And then, in the front, the, the last two pieces is my Zoanthids. Um, they look really healthy except for the Castile um banana table acapora i think that's what world white coral calls it but yeah half of it is white it bleach or something but if you look from this side it does have its color so it looks like 50 percent of it is white 50 percent has its full color so I did get in touch with worldwide like coral and we'll see what happens and see what they could do for me or they explain to me what's going on and how to resolve this issue but um i did spot feed them and also broadcast and brock and my i broadcasted food in my tank as well too so my goal for this coming up week is try to baby them as much as possible to make sure they're healthy and strong but yes those are my corals the new addition to my tank. So, I did not know when I was blowing off debris and any anything that, any hitchhiker that came with my corals. One of the hitchhikers was something that I'm thinking of keeping and that is a serpent starfish or a brittle starfish. That is awesome. I can't believe that came on my coral. I mean, it's possible. They keep it in huge frag tanks, so there's always a possibility of something hitchhiking with your cor with the corals. So I got lucky with the starfish, and I did not even know I had this until I was about to throw out the water this morning, and apparently he was still alive in my uh, garage in the container of water, and. Surprisingly, as cold as the water was, it still survived, so. Yep. Word of advice. Make sure 
to check in your water after you acclimate your corals if there's anything that you probably want to keep. You might be surprised. All right. Peace out.